and my pupils at home. I do hope you are enjoying your stay at home and also keeping safe. With you this morning, Mrs. Mokwenye, I will be taking on English studies. And the topic for today's lesson is how I spent my last holiday. How I spent my last holiday. How I spent my last holiday. If you are asked to write a composition of this sort, there are some basic guidelines I want this to follow for you to be able to achieve a perfect result. First, considering the fact that you had an academic section, there must be a period of resumption and a period of vacation. So if you are asked to write a composition of this sort, there are some basic things that you must be considered. One of them is your title. One of them is your word title. Some of us, we, we title our composition in a way that even the reader will not be interested in reading it. If you want to give your composition a title and you are writing, mixing the upper case with the lower case, you must make sure you underline it. But if you are going to use the upper case or true, you know that you will write with the upper case or true, but you will not underline at the end of the writing. Example is the way I have written mine here, how I spent my last holiday. This title is a mixture of upper case and lower case. But I will give you an example of the upper case. So it's a situation where you write in the upper case, you will not underline. Please, I want us to note that instruction. Before writing this composition, you must consider when your school vacated. After taking such lessons of when your school vacated, you will now look at what did you do after vacation. That's the second one. This is the most interesting aspect of it for me because it will give me the opportunity to, even if I cannot see you, to know what and what we are doing at all. That is, if you will be sincere with Mrs. Morgan. 
Some of us during this vacation, we don't plan our time, right? We just feel that we play, watch cartoons, play video games, do some other things that are irrelevant instead of putting our studies into concentration. So with this composition, I will be able to monitor some of the activity of my pupils. Another basic factor is the duration of your holiday. What is the duration of your holiday? If you don't know how long you will spend at home, you will be able to plan. And if you don't plan, you will be able to achieve results. So knowing the duration of your holiday is a basic factor in life because it will enable you to plan what and what to do at every particular time. So another thing is, where did you spend your holiday? Where did you visit or spend your holiday? Another question that we need to know. Where did you visit? Where did you spend your holiday? And the last but not the least is what were your experiences? What are your experiences where you visited or where you spent your holiday? And your experiences. If you are asked to write, you spent your holiday at home, you must surely have a, one or two things that you experienced. And you spent it, maybe you traveled to see your grandma, your aunt, your uncle, wherever you must have experienced one new thing or the other. So, with the guidelines I've given us so far, if we are able to follow these guidelines, we will be able to come out with a perfect composition. But I want to put something across to us. We know looking at these guidelines, some of us will just say that, I, I will just say, number one, where is this way? You just feed it in. That is basically meant for the lower primary focus or those that are in the KGs on the nursery classes. If you see this type of guideline, it doesn't mean you will begin to itemize your composition. You must make sure you give us a comprehensive write-up of your composition. So I will briefly tell us verbally how I spent my last holiday. I will be able to put everything into writing, but I will just give us a brief write-up of how I spent my last holiday. My school vacated some weeks before the real week of vacation. What is the cause? Because of the COVID-19 pandemic that is uh, ravaging the whole world, the federal government decided that the school should close before the official vacation date, which was supposed to be April 3rd. So because of that, we were asked to go home. And to the greatest amazement of mine, we had the opportunity of coming to school on a Sunday and Saturday for examination. All these things was put together for us to be able to finish our examination, not knowing what we come after. Just like you know today, it wasn't a palatable experience to me because for the first time in my life, I stayed for so many Sundays without going to church, without visiting friends, without doing any normal social thing that even going to the market, they have to restrict you to some days that you will go out and the days you will not go out. So for me, it was not really an enjoyable one. Then we knew that this Easter celebration came up during that lockdown period. For me, I know that so many people didn't even know it was Easter Sunday, neither Monday. But we give all glory to God for everything. But for me, I know that I didn't enjoy the holiday. My last uh, term was one I can never forget. This last holiday was one that I can never forget. 
Because so many things that we have never experienced in our nation, Nigeria, is what we started seeing. COVID-19 was not the first pandemic that was ravaging the world, but this one came with a different, it came in a different direction. So the holiday was not an interesting one. So it was indeed a wonderful experience that I will never forget. So parents, I will want us to please, there are some basic things that I want us to consider, and those basic things is in the area of paragraphy. If you are asked to write a composition, we must endeavor that we paragraph our work in a way that it will come out and look interesting to the reader. I will just give us a sketch of how to paragraph a good composition. First, looking at your exercise book, and you want to paragraph your work, you will not start from the beginning of the exercise book to write. What you will do, I'll just give us a sketch of it, I might not be able to write everything on the board. Yes, looking at these highlighted lines, you will see that there is a beginning of a paragraph here. You will see where this paragraph is began. Paragraph 1, the side book. Paragraph 1. If you go down again, and this will carry a different thing as regards what you are talking about. Looking at the paragraph 2, you will see the difference there. Paragraph 2. That is how you will take your work. Paragraph by paragraph, and looking as a reader, you will find it interesting to read. Then, at the end of this, is our punctuation. What is the meaning of punctuation? Punctuation makes your work readable, it makes it interesting to the reader. You know where to add your comma, you know where to add your full stop, and anybody that is reading it will be able to read it and find your work quite interesting. So, our wonderful parents, I know we need your assistance in helping these pupils to get a better result. One of the assistants is that you must guide them and make sure they do this work. And as they do this work, you please and you got to forward it to our WhatsApp platform. On that WhatsApp platform, I, as the teacher, will be able to look at the writer, will be able to mark and make corrections. And this will enable us to know if our pupils are following what we are teaching them. I know some of them will be saying, ah, why is it that our teachers are doing this? Nobody knows when actually schools will resume. That is why we decided to go online to make sure that we keep our pupils busy. So I believe that we are not in school doesn't mean that we cannot learn. So I pray my indulgence to please do us a favor to submit this assignment on our platform. So for perfection's sake, I want to still repeat this assignment for me to be able to know if actually what was taught has been followed. I'll be looking forward to seeing our assignment. Do stay blessed and keep keeping safe. We love you. Once again, 